and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your hedge fund headlines. Today is Wednesday, June 25, 2008. To capitalize on Wall Street's woes, Fortress Investment Group is considering adding another $1 billion to its coffers, the New York Post reports. The U.S.'s first publicly traded hedge fund is aiming to raise the extra cash on top of the $2 billion so-called Credit Opportunities Fund. It has been marketing the fund to investors to invest in distressed assets since January. Fortress's fund likely will look to purchase debt, including securities, such as mortgage-tainted collateralized debt obligations and leveraged loans that have been stuck on bank balance sheets and have plunged in value. Write down some sour debt total will about $400 billion at financial firms. Staying with hedge fund news, First City Monument Bank and INTL Consolium have linked up to launch a $100 million hedge fund that will invest in Africa and the Middle East, this day reports. The Legacy Africa Alpha Fund will invest in equity and debt in the two regions with a 30% cap on Middle East investments. Structured as an absolute return fund, it will launch on July 1st with $100 million. First City CEO Lady Balagun said Africa is the most exciting investor destination and is likely to remain so for the foreseeable future. Future. And in more hedge fund news, a ruling party panel in Japan is pushing the Asian nation to create a sovereign wealth fund to better manage its pension funds, Reuters reports. Along with a recommendation, the panel said the country must determine whether to use the scheme to manage part of the country's $1 trillion in foreign reserves. Some Japanese Liberal De uh, Democratic Party lawmakers want to create a model for Japanese sovereign wealth funds to contribute to the country's coffers and make Tokyo a more global financial center. However, one concern that is, is that such a fund would expose the nation's pension fund to more risky investments. And in other hedge fund news, Asian hedge funds managers improved their performance and lowered their redemptions in 2007 in contrast to their U.S. and European counterparts, financial news reports. According to a new study from Greenwich Associates, Asia Pacific hedge funds also led performance, where hedge funds reporting returns greater than 10 percent increased 63 percent last year from 62 percent in 2006. Just over half of U.S. hedge funds returned in excess of 10 percent last year, down from 64 percent the year before. European hedge funds did even worse, only 46 percent more in double digits last year, and a feat achieved by 53 percent in 2006. And that rounds out today's hedge fund headlines. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on our hedge funds channel online and read the latest developments.